Hello everybody, this is Toshi Yagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer. I shot this image for a long time ago. Uh, this is my subject today. I want to make some kind of creative image from this. I have this image, base image, and also I made this uh, pencil draw drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop used filter called Find Edges. And uh, well, uh, from this, I'm gonna smudge this base image and also I'm gonna paint in different color added. Then after that, I use a pencil drawing image to make some kind of illustration. Well, Let's get started. Hold on a second, it's moving. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna make duplicate this layer and uh, I'm gonna smudge on this one. Now I'm gonna turn this one base image off to just keep it and uh, I'm gonna smudge this. Choose the smudge brush. I mean, uh, smudge texture from, well, I go evolve this time and let's smudge to pretty small size. Let's see. A little bit more small. I'm smudging edge. Uh, just add some kind of texture with uh, the smudging tool. Okay, the subject main image, unlike a shirt, doesn't uh, doesn't much important place uh, area. Like a face in uh, the place, I, I don't want to smudge so much so use the smudge tool size smaller like here this shape much smaller okay now hat maybe make it a little bit more just touch bigger size that's you still can see this is hat. Okay, almost. This is fine. Okay, now outside. I go a little more bigger size. And this edge of the shadow lines. And the inside of this um, wall will get a little bit bigger size to get the texture. Otherwise, you're not gonna tell. Oops, what about this plant? I don't wanna break everything. Otherwise, it's gonna be the, just the color or, yeah, this is, that's all I need. Okay, now just a little small size to smudge this. I just want to leave the image. Uh, we can tell what that is. Just some part you want to leave this kind of texture here and there. Some. It's pretty good. Okay, then outside just okay. That's them. Now just touch up some. Overall, we get it, and uh, 
leave some texture details and stuff, some of them, but not much. And also add the texture of the brush somehow, okay. Now, done for smudging. Now I'm, I'm gonna add layer for color. I'm gonna put some like this desaturated green plant. Just add, I painted it on now, right? This is just paint. But I'm gonna change this layer, uh, blend mode. Change the blend mode to color. So you just add color here. You see now, um, adding more yellowish green too. And also, this area is kind of dark brownish, especially this uh, pot, plant pot. And also we have some dead plant here too. Just add some of saturation. This is more yellowish here. Then make it a little bigger to saturate the color on this part. You still see, I mean, uh, you see this kind of image, like, okay. Now a little more, add some greens. This is too big brush size, so make smaller to add here, okay. Now that's what I'm gonna do, just like her skin tone. Make some around this, around this much maybe, then and skin tone to be more healthy, nice skin tone. Then maybe just some add. Hold on a second, let me paint her arms and stuff. And shadow size goes a little more reddish. some touch reddish and more smaller and touch more red on lips and also some well kind of touch blue over here eyeshadow you don't see much you see some yeah then maybe this is too yellow -ish. so add some orange look about this much. Now how about head? Head has more well touch that's too much yellow isn't it? So I'm gonna add some fairy beige cream. About this much and uh, maybe hair is got Going to, going to, yeah, it has more brown, light brown, so highlight side, I'm gonna add some more brown, light brown color. Add shadow, uh, touch more darker red, touch. Just sort of in, um, emphasize the color saturation. And also this shadow of the shirt, maybe some blue waters, more cleaner look. See some, like here, that's maybe too much, but uh, yeah, this is why the yellowish, more warm tone, oh that's too much. I'm gonna use the eraser tool, same soft hair brush, and then add to blue. And how about pants? This has bluer, well more browner. Make it some. Then go shadow area goes more brown. Oops, that's too much.
the Smart House Dutch Brewer. Okay, and also this is a plant here too. I'm gonna add some green again to make it short, uh, small. Touch brown. Okay, how's this now? I'm gonna add some well window frame, a little more saturated blue. about this window does have some uh, trees so I'm gonna add some a little bit greener and you see the blue sky reflected on glass even though it's kind of dusty glass but just add some green and also the blue sky and also there's reflection of the light uh, highlight from the sunlight so just warm yellowish add some little yellowish color on this highlight too okay now uh, we have this red is, is it Blow or something. Yeah, just add some nice colors on the outside. I mean, the uh, sun hit this flower. It was more warm color, but uh, shadow area has more blue in it. So add some bluer color. Then here, like a tile, orange, brown. This area hit uh, sun hits the light a little more warm reddish, but uh, shadow area has more touch blue. Okay, now base has more touch more blue. Maybe add some more effective. Some more blue color in the shadow area. And a little more cyan look on this side color. about this highlight I mean the sun hits more warm color okay for smudge and this is the color tones more saturated let's see now okay this make mask and an invert mask. Now I'm gonna reveal, but I'm gonna, I wanna see this pencil drawing type image now. Change the blend mode, darken. Then we're gonna reveal this mask. Now I'm gonna choose the blend, uh, brush. Texture to be, well, Lara Puna, that's, I really like this. Well, let me try this one. This is pretty big size. Oh, 
that's interesting, isn't it? Well, this brush is just revealing this mask, right? It's gonna show that the colors differently. Very interesting here. Look at this. Let me make it small. The sa saturation of the color grows more vivid. I painted on highlight side of her hair also. mask then just I'm gonna pin this yeah maybe we don't need this black pencil drawing image well I guess that's it for today yep Okay, thank you for watching my video and uh, I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea of your creative work. And uh, you guys have a nice day. I really appreciate for you guys support and uh, see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.